Hello everyone, this is Miss Stern. I'm so glad to see you today. I have a great little story for us today called Goggles, the Bear Who Dreamed of Flying. Do you think a bear could fly? Hmm, let's find out about this. Do you know what goggles are? And he's gonna wear them when he's flying. Where else could you wear goggles? And what do you wear them for? <clears throat> there once was a very small bear who dreamed of flying. Everyone told him he was too little to fly, but he always wore flying goggles just in case they changed their mind, which is why all his family called him goggles. Did you ever fly in an airplane? He dreamed about flying at breakfast. He dreamed about flying when tucked up in bed. He even dreamed about flying in the bath. He must really like it, right? And he always took a jar of honey with him because all that flying can make a bear hungry. <clears throat> you can see these pictures okay. It's a sunny morning and there's a lot of glare. <clears throat> but even though Goggles was a very small bear, he knew a very big secret. I wonder what it is. His grandparents, Growlville and Wilma Wright, had built an airplane. They called it the Wright Flyer. Now I'm thinking that that has something to do with the Wright brothers, who were the brothers who actually invented the first airplane. You might wanna look into that. <clears throat> they wanted to be the first bears to fly, but couldn't find an airplane fuel that would work. On the first try, it crunched into a tree. On the second try, it crashed into a haystack. On the third try, it ran into a pond. Sploosh. Now that word sploosh, right over here, when an author uses that in a story, it's called onomatopoeia, and it means sound effects. Let's see if we can find any more in the story. If only they could find the right flying fuel. They tried lemonade, but it was too fizzy. They tried custard, that's like a pudding, but it was too gluggy. And ketchup was too slurpy and chocolate too gooey. Then one day, Goggles had a great idea for fuel. What do you think his idea is? What would you suggest? He whispered it to Grandpa. Can you guess? I think I know what it is. Honey. At last, the plane would fly. Do you think a plane could really fly using honey for fuel? What kind of fuel do you use in your vehicles? The great day arrived for the first flight of the honey-powered Wright Flyer. Takeoff was at sunrise and a big crowd was invited to watch. That would be kind of fun to do. Have you ever seen an air show? Goggles wanted to fly too but everyone said it was too dangerous. So while no one was looking, he sneaked into the back of the airplane. Shh. Remember what that's called, the sound effect word? Anamanapia. 
How smart are you? Grandpa Growlville started the engine. The propeller whizzed and whirred. The right flyer began to move faster and faster. And then... The plane soared into the bright blue sky. Zoom. What's it called? Anamanapia. Sound effects. Isn't that fun? Maybe you could write your own story using sound effects. That would be really fun. Higher and higher it flew. Soon they were sailing around the clouds. It was so beautiful. But then, oh no, what's going to happen when you see that word then? You know something's going to happen. It's a signal. <gasps> Disaster. The right flyer ran out of honey and began to fall from the sky. If only we had more fuel, cried Grandma Wilma. Any ideas what might happen next? I have an idea. What do you think? Suddenly, Goggles popped up from his hiding place. Emergency honey, he shouted. I right, think it was a good thing he was there after all. <coughs> Grandma had no time <coughs> to be shocked to see him. She quickly poured the honey into the fuel tank. The engine spluttered, then roared back to life. Here comes another one of those. Boom! The airplane flew safely back to the bear field and landed in front of the cheering crowd. It would be fun to be there, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Grandpa announced that Goggles had saved the day. The crowd cheered even more loudly, but Goggles <clears throat> just smiled and waved. He was happy his grandparents were safe. And what's more, he was one of the right bears, the first bear to fly. That was a really fun story. I liked that. I found this book by accident when I was looking for some other books on, online. Now, some, something you might want to see if your um, adults in the house could help you research is the Wright brothers that talk? they were talked about in this story. And here's a picture of them, Orville and Wilbur Wright, and find out how they made the first real airplane. And maybe you could make paper airplanes. That would be fun to fly around. Now, I'm going to put this website on the bottom of the page describing this video for your family to look at and see if they can... Um, Go there and enter your email, and you can download a coloring book for this story. It's www.colorbook.fun. But I'll write the address um, down on the description to the video. So until next time, my flying friends, happy reading.